I was at a party and this guy was hitting on me. But he was hitting on me with the most uh, boring questions. One of them was, um, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? And I was like, anywhere? And he was like, anywhere. And I was like, um, to the other side of the room. <laughs> Now please, get out of the way of a woman in her dream. Uh, I, um, at that same party, I was, um, I met this doctor that was telling me about that whole phenomenon of um, people putting things in parts of their body for pleasure and ending up getting them stuck. <laughs> things like light bulbs, And I've heard about this, but it wasn't until this particular conversation that it dawned on me how long you gotta be trying to get that out of your ass before you go for help. It's gotta be hours if not days. Like, I don't imagine you're just like, <sighs> oh man, light bulb won't come out of my ass. Shoot. Maybe I'll give the neighbors a call, see if they'll swing by. Like, I imagine you want to involve as few people as possible. <laughs> you probably don't just pick up the phone real quick and go, Chris, man, it's Jim. Listen. I got a light bulb crammed up my ass. <laughs> yes, again. <laughs> I was wondering if you could run me by the ER. Yeah, whenever's good for you. In fact, I'm gonna go outside now and wait for you on my hands and knees. <laughs> you can't drive yourself. <laughs> Not comfortably. <laughs> and it's like, you get to the ER, probably scrambling for stories. You can't just go in and tell the truth even though they know that you know, that they know. Everybody knows what's going on. You can't just tell the truth. Probably like, oh God, let's see. I was sitting on this light bulb. No. You know what, the kids leave things out all the time. I'm surprised this didn't happen any sooner. Okay, seriously? My ass is afraid of the dark.